Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, enough analog, at least for today. We are gonna be talking about a new CD player, but what's cool about the CD player is it packs a very interesting punch because it has a feature that I don't think I've ever seen on any CD player to date. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Welcome to Recordology. Okay, and here it is, this is a new Studebaker CD, it looks CD player. It looks similar to the other Studebaker unit we have. We'll look at them side by side in a minute. What I like about Studebaker is they really blend form and functionality. So yeah, it's retro and it looks cool, it's trendy, all that good stuff, but it's actually good products. Everything I've seen from them so far actually works really, really well in addition to just looking cool. All right, let's look at this one up close. This has some interesting features uh, it does play CDRs and R RWs. It is MP3 compatible. Um, this also comes with a magnetic car mount. I like how they try to show the magnetic field there. It looks like wind going into a black hole. But that'll be interesting to experiment with. I don't know if there's something you know, on the back of the unit or if it's built in. But that's really cool. And I, I can't imagine that would hold that. But it's interesting technology. We'll have to check that out. Uh, personalized CD player plays wirelessly and there's the big reveal is that this unit transmits FM radio so the idea is that not all CD or not all cars these days come with CD players in fact it's becoming more and more frequent that they don't so you're stuck with either Bluetooth but a lot of the times you're not gonna be able to play a CD over Bluetooth so what do you do well this is cool it allows you to use your FM radio in your car or any other FM radio and listen to your music wirelessly. In addition to having the color matched earbuds, this comes in a variety of colors, but I like the pink. It's so 50s. It totally looks like, you know, a 1950s Studebaker car. So anyway, there's a list of features on the back. Let's go ahead and open it up. This box is very effective. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. it, it it's got a nice presentation. Here is the mount for um, the car vent. That's interesting. It's pretty heavy, rubberized on this side, and then you just stick that into your uh, car vent. I wonder how you could adapt this for other use as well. What's included? And this is what's amazing. Batteries are included. That's pretty rare. You don't see that very often. Instruction manual. I mean, this is cool. I like this setup. Look at this. I always love the brands that they have of these batteries that... <laughs> you've never heard of before, TNQ. TNQ for buying this. Here's a couple of batteries. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, we have the USB cable, because you can, you can power it over USB, which is becoming a pretty common feature for CD players. You've got the uh, in-ear earbuds, which are matched. It says they're high quality. It's got a couple extra ear cups, it looks like, to check that out. Here's the unit itself, before I get to the grand finale there, or the uh, big reveal. Let's look at this. Here's the FM transmission instructions and the manual. Oh, why do they always put these in bags? Isn't that weird? They always put the instructions in bags. This box is nice. And if you say it's just a box, that's stupid. Tell me that when you get a new iPhone that the box it comes in isn't part of I mean, you know you've scored big time. <laughs> it just is. It is true. And I know other manufacturers and other equipment is starting to uh, emulate that with their packaging. Cool, all right, big reveal. Here's the actual device itself, wrapped in this foam material. Oh, this is so cool. It is awesome looking, I love it. It's chunky, look how thick it is. Oh, this is super cool. All right, let me uh, readjust the camera and we'll give it a thorough going over. Okay, so here is the new unit. And for comparison, there is the older one. So you can see, hopefully you can see, if I tilt it up, maybe it'll help. This one is a little bit smaller in diameter than this, but it is thicker by about, mm, maybe a, not quite a quarter of an inch. You can see them side by side there, how they stack up literally. Very interesting, I love both of them. I just like the form factor, I love it. You know, it looks like an enameled finish, although I'm sure it's not, but it just is super cool. The display is much larger on the new one. This has a backlit display too, which will be cool. I love this unit. This is great. I wish it played, you know, 
I wish I had a rechargeable battery, although there is a benefit to not because you don't have to worry about that battery wearing out. And I wish it played MP3s. And this one does play MP3s. So anyway, um, let's look at this mount. So, you know, I was just playing around with this and I didn't realize I had grabbed the old one, but it does. I don't know if that's a, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm attaching to the motor and it's not intended to, you know, but it does have some magnetism towards it. But this one, and it's got the car mount thing there really attaches so that's got an extra magnet that is cool you just stick that right into your air vents it's a pretty cool feature so this is, the old one is let's see this is the model sb703 and the new one is the model sb3705 and while we're down here let's take a look it's got these nice rubber nubs here the other one had, oh, it had four. This new one has more than that, it has five. This was made July of 2020. This one was made September of 2019. There's the battery compartment where you can put in your tank you batteries, alkaline. And let's see what else we got here. Typical warnings, blah, 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 blah. Very interesting stuff. Here's the uh, control panel here. Okay, looking at the side there, you've got the five volt USB input or the 4.5 volt barrel connector. Rotating it around here, what else do we got? Our hold switch, our headphones, awesome. They upgraded to a volume knob, not the little clicky buttons that the old one had. I don't, this is one thing I did not like about this unit is these clicky volume buttons. That was really annoying to me. Also, I'll be curious to see if they fix this issue. One other problem I had with this one, not problem, but one other thing I noticed about this one is the fact that it's super loud. Like you can't listen at night if you want it very, and maybe it's because of those buttons and the, the way it's amplified. But, and that's a complaint a lot of people have actually is that modern CD players aren't loud enough for them. This one doesn't have that issue. It's too loud. The lowest setting is still too loud to listen to at night in my opinion. So I'll be curious how they resolve that. That's pretty much it, so let's go ahead and pop it open. Got a little slip sheet in here, stabilizing the laser transport. Looking under the hood, it's pretty typical fare. It's got the indent for lifting out the disc. It doesn't have an indent for the three inch, because that's pretty, you know, pretty rare you're gonna find to be playing three inch discs on that. I know it does happen, but not as often as a regular five inch disc. Okay, right, let's go ahead and put a CD in there. I'm gonna start with just this classical one because I won't have to worry about any copyright hits. We're gonna test the FM transmission and also we're gonna hook it up. In fact, let's do that to begin with. I'm gonna use my trusty old, not old, it's like a year old, on. little portable speaker here from Walmart. Again, these are like 10 bucks, sound great really good for doing this battery i haven't charged the battery on this thing and i don't even know when but for this kind of stuff it works perfectly so we're going to plug into the headphone jack it does not have a line output that would have been cool if it did but yeah let's go ahead and power on by hitting play very blue and it looks a lot it's a lighter color than it's looking like on camera and it's much more even Okay, so I hit play once to power it up and we get the default information. This looks very clear to the eye on camera. For some reason it looks shaded. It's really not. This looks very good. Press play again and it should start playing. Now you'll see that empty thing looks like an empty battery indicator. That's actually the anti-skip buffer. So as the anti-skip buffer fills up, that little indicator fills up as well. I'm going to turn up the volume here. Again, this is classical. Oh crap, did I get a harpsichord CD? I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, you guys. Skipping. More, more, awesome, that's cool. Jeez. Okay, I'm not gonna punish you with harpsichord music. I just can't do that. Wow, stopped quickly. I have this other weird CD. This is something I came across, we were like, trying to clear out some boxes. This is like a 90s air touch cellular CD. Hey, turn it down a minute. 
It's really bizarre. It's just literally like a promo CD with some songs on it. So let's go ahead and I kind of miss this kind of marketing material, honestly. All right, so we're going to hit play again. It's weird how the display looks dark on camera. Very interesting. Okay. This so will be copyrighted music, so I have to skip through it. Nice. Uncle Jerry. There was a really cool video of that guy that performed that song, playing that in isolation. Really cool stuff. Awesome. Man, that's some good music right there. That's a little better than the harpsichord, right? So let's see what these buttons do. So the tuner, it's got an FM radio you can listen to as well as transmitting, I believe. CD button. What does that do? I guess that switches to CD mode. Let's see what happens if I'm playing and I hit that. I don't know. You can turn the bass boost on and off with that. So let's go ahead and listen to one without it. And then we're going to add the bass boost. Oh, yeah. It definitely filled out. Plus 10, so you can skip 10 songs ahead. FM radio. And press to scan, I imagine. The radio is louder than that. Okay, then CD goes back into CD mode. Programmable features, memory buttons. I haven't read the manual, can you tell? But let's test, test out this transmission feature. So let me go ahead and reset for that shot. We're going to test out broadcasting from this device to a radio. Okay, so we're going to listen to a Jack Benny CD, old-time radio. And let's figure out how the FM transmission works. So it says press the play and on button to turn on the unit. Disconnect the earphones. If you plug the earphones in, it shuts off the FM transmitter. The frequency is preset to 88.1 megahertz, which is pretty common for these types of devices or, you know, like those FM transmitters you can get for your iPhone and stuff like that. You can it does have instructions on how to change the frequency, but that should work for us. That's a, I think that's vacant space or it may be, no, it's a classical station, but it's pretty faint, so we can stomp over it. And let's see. If you'd like to change the frequency, I think it's already transmitting. So I'm going to play the CD. And turn on our radio. I'm using this old Kmart transistor radio. It is. Suspense. Suspense. It's quiet though. The volume control obviously doesn't affect the volume on the unit. Interesting. That's cool. Look at that. If I tilt it back, I lose the frequency. But if I tilt it up, I get the signal. Mats protecting every positive plate to prevent shedding and flaking and to keep the Autolite stay full battery power packed for paramount performance. <laughs> see, see how you want So it's interesting. So it is quiet. I wish it was louder than that. And let me try another radio. Maybe another radio will pick it up better. But that, that could be a little bit of an issue. Also, it's interesting that it's, it seems like it's always transmitting. Like it's always doing that. The only way you can turn that off it, well, I guess you wouldn't be listening to it any other way. As soon as you plug a headphone jack in or a line, a line input cable, line output cable, it's going to shut off the transmitter. So it shouldn't be an issue of eating your batteries up too much because I'm sure that FM transmission, you know, eats them more than, than not. So, all right, let's try another radio and see if the volume is still an issue. I love the little tower icon to tell you that it's broadcasting. Okay, so I've got this little pocket radio here. So let's go ahead and see if it comes in louder. I guess we have to have audio happening. Switch to track two. I've got the mic a little closer too. Yeah, sounds good and loud. Okay, that's maxed out. And that's above comfortable listening level. That's more normal for me. And I don't have the best hearing, so it must have been specific to that radio I was using. Cool. No, that's awesome. 
Uh, the only thing really left to test is the uh, headphones, so I'll, check, I'll test those out now. Here's what they look like up close, by the way. I'm not a huge fan of in-ear headphones because of the fit, but you know what? If they do fit and you get a good seal, then the sound is superior than a regular one. So, All right, I'm going to go ahead and try it off camera and let you know my thoughts. So I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think of the lighting in this video? Usually I've got the ambient light and I've got overhead lights. But because of the color temperature difference, sometimes they'll show up as these like bright orange reflections on the granite, which drives me nuts. So I've got the incandescent lights and the fluorescent lights and the LED. All the internal lights are off. It's purely ambient light. It looks a little colder than with the warmer light, but I think it's more even. So tell me what you guys think about that as a quick aside. But I have finished my evaluation and here's my thoughts. Uh, the built-in headphones were okay. They're actually better than most headphones that come with devices which are usually out of phase these ones i feel like they were in phase um they had good stereo imaging they are pretty lightweight but i mean they are what they are they're not bad headphones at all i wouldn't throw them away by any means i like the fact they're color matched depending on what color of unit you get they will match um, but i did notice there was a little bit of line noise a little bit of hiss with them and they weren't perfectly balanced but again you know i wouldn't expect them to be necessarily uh, connected higher end headphones and I noticed that the hiss was gone the sound was pristine so it sounds you know wonderful it sounds absolutely wonderful the only uh, drawback I didn't notice this with a speaker but with the headphones I noticed that when you skip tracks you get kind of this little whoomp sound as it switches whoomp whoomp between tracks which you know could be distracting or you could you know soon not even notice it after you know a couple of minutes but still, the sound quality was good. It's very responsive, very snappy, very quick. And I would recommend it. From a styling aesthetic, I, I think these can't be beat. They just look like, you know, <laughs> they look like 1950s Studebakers, which is, I'm sure, the idea. They look great. They're beautiful. And I would highly recommend them. I'm going to go ahead and put links for both since we talked about this one so much. You may want be interested in that. By the way, this logo is raised. It is a raised metal logo not quite as raised as that one but this is up so hard it's almost sharp on the edges but anyway i love the backlit display i love the feature set i think the fm transmission is very cool that opens up a whole window of possibilities for nerds like me and so yeah i would recommend it very cool products okay guys that's going to do it for today link is in the description below if you want to purchase one now let me ask you something did you like this video if so give me a thumbs up and also if you'd like to see more like it Go ahead and hit subscribe and go one step further, hit the bell notification and select all so you don't miss a single thing, including our live shows where we give away stuff, including record players. You're not going to want to miss those. All right, that's going to do it for today, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.